Welcome back to the Game Cave. I am Josh. This is Octopath Traveler 2, and boys and girls, we're in for a treat. We're about to hear a tale so sweet. Oswald Chapter 4. Ooh, main character shit. Unchained. Oswald finds his way to Montwise, a city in the eastern continent. Though keenly aware, he may be walking directly into Harvey's trap. He nonetheless heads... Oh, the city's impressive library. My brain just died in the middle of that sentence. <laughs> Let's get to this. In this world, magic is derived from six elements. Fire, ice, lightning, wind, light, and darkness. However, there is one phenomenon that cannot be explained by the magic power of these elements. Boron. The Pit of Darkest. Four hundred years ago, the sage Grattan observed the pit, and his conclusion was thus. The answer is clear. Only power beyond the six sources could open a pit of this size. There exists a seventh. I am sure of it. Thus was born Grattan's hypothesis, the cornerstone of our magical studies. It was he who suggested the existence of the one true magic. And I shall stop you there, for I have perfected it. Oh, do please. Is this a joke? You call that the one true magic? Uh, uh, impossible! How could you- I'm motherfucking Oswald, bitch! It's mere lightning magic. It has limits, no matter how much power you pour into it. You're approaching it all wrong. There is little point in you continuing your research as it stands. How fascinating. Those formulae may work. Damn, you rotten thief of joy. I mean, I would consider a liar and a fake to be a bigger thief of joy. I take it you meant that to be a kindness to the poor boy. Would you care to elaborate? I feel like Oswald isn't capable of kindness. Lightning, fire. The six sources are physical elements. Physical elements have limits. So it follows that the power drawn from them does too. In other words, I posit that the seventh source is not physical in nature. <laughs> Fascinating. I mean, that makes sense. I am Harvey, and I was just beginning to tire of the theories of ordinary folk. Oswald. Oswald. Tell me, how did you arrive at this supposition? I just explained it. Mathematics? I've been experimenting with the conversion of magic into mathematical equations. Now that is truly intriguing. I've taken a biological approach. I study the blood of monsters. Would you indulge me for a moment, Oswald, and hear my theory? Go on, speak freely. I was elated. I'd finally found someone who thought on my level. And what's more, Harvey felt the same. We debated our theories. Each meeting resulted in impassioned discussion. But I'd overlooked something. His meticulously hidden malice. Montwise. 
Are we in a monologue in the middle of town again? The vast stores of knowledge contained within its library attract scholars from all across the continent. Is that where you've run, Harvey? Good place to run. Have you made progress with your research now that you've left me with nothing? Wouldn't it be embarrassing if he hadn't? <laughs> I suppose I'll have to find out for myself. <laughs> See, you just stand in the middle of the street. Hmm. I suppose I'll have to find out for myself. Like, who are you talking to? After this, we get to do Hikari's. I'm looking forward to that one. We finally get to uh, reunite with Spear Bitch. Now, as you all know, we humans oh, okay. must study. <laughs> okay, sir. Well, he may not have made any progress figuring out what the one true magic is, but that sir has the drip. Look at that fucking cloak. <laughs> Looking like Zeo. But what of all the monsters in the world? Why can they use magic without studying? What is the source of their power? Nature? After experimenting on countless specimens, I have the answer. Oh, have you? It is in their blood. Yes, the very source of their lives is also the source of their magic power. Behold. A frost bear. From the blood of this creature, we can extract crystals brimming with ice magic. If we simply imbue these crystals with magic, <laughs> we can use magic with no need for incantations. From frost bears come ice crystals. From salamanders come fire crystals. Based on crystal number and purity, we can create even more powerful magic. However, these are of course still bound to the six sources. Grattan's hypothesis continues to torment us. Professor Harvey, it was an honor to hear your lecture. They say you're the second coming of Grattan. Uh, Professor! Professor Harvey! All of Academia watches your work with great anticipation. Grattan's hypothesis, the final mystery... Are you close to finding the seventh source? <laughs> now, now... Do not try to make news where there is none to be had. I have another problem to solve before I worry about the seventh source. Is it me? I bet I'm Namely, the problem. What to get my daughter for her birthday, which is quite soon. Oh, Was that my narcissism flaring up? <laughs> An expert deflection. He lives and breathes his studies. I never see him outside of his lectures. Has anybody even seen this daughter that he talks about? So, this is the library. It is quite sizable. Where are you, Harvey? Harvey. Perhaps I shall put the others in the building under some scrutiny to find out. Oh, should we turn it to nighttime and just beat the fuck out of him? No? Okay, travel better! Oh my! Oh wow! I've never seen so many books in one place before. This is where a great many of the continent's tomes reside. I came through here countless times as a student. Then why did he say, so this is the library, like he'd never been here before? So incredible! Hearing you say that makes me feel you're on an, in a real city, man, Oswald. I'd love to hear more, just like the folks here are doing. Well, you certainly have the right attitude for it. Tell me what you'd like to read, and I'll take you to it. We'll use the Dewey Decimal System. In that case, <laughs> you know, that thing that people are supposed to use, even though librarians go to school to learn it. Are there any books on dancing? 
I believe there were on the stacks to the east. I think you'll find the Western Dance Compendium a particularly worthwhile read. And here I didn't take you for much of a dancer. My wife, she loved it, you see. And so I became an expert in it. Now let's... Let's scrutinize. S scrutinize? What? Oh, he's down below. Hello! There he is. Hello, old man. What do you know? What's this? Library rumor. A scholar who, while looking into records of an ancient kingdom, found mention of a secret passageway inside the library. He brought it to Harvey's attention, only to have it dismissed out of hand. Mm. I don't think it was actually dismissed out of hand. I think Harvey just let him think that so that he'd stop looking. Professor Harvey's a genius. I can't wait to see what incredible discovery he'll make next. Has he made a single incredible discovery? Well, no. It seems like other people discovered the whole thing about stones in the blood. A scholar who was deeply impressed by Pro Professor Harvey's thesis. She follows Harvey after each lecture, hoping to catch up with him for a quick word. But the professor always slips out of sight somewhere in the library's basement. Ooh, Harvey's whereabouts. Hmm. So the secret passageway is in the basement. One more piece to this triangulation and we'll be ready to go poke Harvey in the butt. Be like, hey. What's the... A scholar researching the many minerals of Solistia. Solistia. What a cool name for a world. He desperately wishes to read the geology books on the library's second basement floor, but finds his efforts to reach them stymied by Professor Harvey, who spends lengthy spans of time in front of the shelf they occupy. An eyewitness to Harvey. It seems there's a hidden passage somewhere in the library. That must be where, what Harvey uses to access the building. I should look for a hidden passage of some sort. Perhaps in the basement. Or perhaps, rather than, you know, do my own detective work, I could just follow the green symbol. Based on the information I've gleaned, the passage should be in this area. Uh -huh. So this is how you've hidden your work from prying eyes. Allow me to take a look for myself. Please be a hidden door. Please be a hidden door. Yay! To the basement! Danger level 36. Danger's my middle. Travel Banter! You know, Oswald, it isn't like you to carry so much tension in your shoulders. Mmm. Let me give you some tips. Things that I do when I'm on a job. Move carefully and deliberately, especially when you're in a hurry. And keep a cool head, even when your temper flares. Take care of yourself, Professor. Being so close to one's goal would set anyone's heart racing. But you mustn't lose your composure, lest you fall into your foe's trap. You make an excellent point. I shall take it to heart. We got a bit of dungeon here? Oh my god. Wasn't expecting the big vats of Oh, it's so, monsters. This is Harvey's laboratory. Of course it's monsters. Are these chimeras? I prefer the pronunciation chimera. He's combining creatures to create new varieties. This kind of study is forbidden. Sure, well, he's trying to create one that transcends the six he physical elements. He mixes the blood of monsters and attempts to create even stronger magical abominations. He presumes this will lead him to the one true magic. And so he worked on it in secret. That said, I've never seen chimeras like these before. Did he employ my formulae to arrive at these combinations? Harvey. He's trying to find the seventh source. Well, no shit. Has my work yielded any breakthroughs for you? 
Were you able to take the next step? Was my family worth it? Why? I wonder. My breast should be aflame with the thought of vengeance. And yet even now I... Because you care more about knowing. I yearn to read his theories. <laughs> How odd. Because you care more about knowing than you did about your family. <laughs> Called it in my head. I didn't say it out loud. Subjects. But I was like, this is the trap. They're quite something. You see me as your enemy. And so be it. Mm-hmm. Catch these fucking I hands. I'll evaluate the results of Harvey's research myself. I suppose I, I have so. no choice. Cleaning time. Yeah. Darkness descend. No, thank you. That's handy. Feel my wrath. Impart your wisdom, Halifax. Now then. For you. That's it. What to do? Wait, over. Well, let's see if they can survive this. Aver, Prince of Peace next. No. All tidied up. <laughs> If they could have, they were going to catch both barrels of Oswald's spell. <laughs> Ooh. Got three nuts at once? I need a Gatorade. Make for the depths of the laboratory. Oh, gosh. This looks dilapidated. Oh, my God. You've kept me waiting, Oswald. Harvey. I didn't think you'd make it. You've earned a passing mark. Oh, I had to slap the shit out of you. <laughs> Harvey, you... Oh, man. Yes, yes, there is much to say, but first... Question. Did you understand the thrust of my research prior to your arrival? In the abstract. I see that you have overcome a major hurdle with the help of my formulae. <laughs> and for that, my friend, I thank you. I have stolen your research and made it my own. I finally have fame and recognition. Yeah, but you haven't really done anything. All while you shivered on Frigid Isle, eating whatever chilled slop they fed you. Boy, he's pretty confident right now. <laughs> Um, but he hasn't done anything. I mean, like, he might have overcome a hurdle, but he's still creating weird chimera that are just giving him crystals of the physical elements. So he hasn't done anything. Like, maybe he's made progress, but he's basically Shao Tucker, you know? Like, he hasn't really done anything. That make everybody sad for literally the rest <laughs> of their lives. Is it not, Oswald? Everything that once was yours is now mine. I have it all. Uh, you can have my research. I want my family. But I will never understand why you had to take my wife and child. Why, Harvey? Why take Rita and Elena, too? <laughs> Think, Oswald. The critical mind is our source, if you will. Oh my god! What is this? Fuck! <laughs> Incredible! This power, it's absolutely beautiful. Impossible. Where are you drawing that magic from? Harvey, what have you done? 
Tell me the source of this power. Was that a shout of amazement, Oswald? You see now what I've accomplished, don't you? That is why I made you my closest friend. You were the only one who understood. And this is its source. A little someone I stole from you. No! What are you talking about? You've got to be fucking kidding me. Well, why? What was so special about them? That voice. Rita? Can it be? He is Shao Tucker. No. She's dead. The fire. Nonsense, my dear friend. You found a corpse at the scene, but it was not her corpse. Twas that of another. Goodness, no, she didn't burn. I abducted her. I needed her blood, you see. My dear. Why hers? Really, you don't... Why hers? Yes, Oswald. It's Rita, your beloved wife. And I made this creature with her blood! <laughs> you monster. How could you? How far will you fall, Harvey? As far as I need to, if it means finding the answer. I'm gonna make this motherfucker fall into the goddamn now, pit of dark ass. See for yourself the product of my research. Ready? Oh man. Woo! I mean, what was so special about Rita? I feel like if he literally took anybody else and used their blood, what was so special about Rita? If they took, if he took anybody else's blood, Oswald probably would have been like, dude, I, I get it, but dude. You're open. I'm just, I'm, I'm, just, I'm not, I wasn't even thinking when I was moving the fucking cursor around. I'm just mad. Ready? Yeah. It's just, it's just. For you. That's a hope. My turn. Naughty deeds are my bitter mess. Now's our chance. Forgive me, Rita. Magia stayed my hell. You have healing. What to do? And 
so it goes. He's gonna be gone when we come out of this. I'm not gonna get an explanation. I'm so, um, I'm confused. I'm angry. I just, I feel like I'm in a, I feel like I'm Oswald right now. Like, like I don't, I'm, I, I'm definitely more confused than I wanna know why than I actually want to kill Harvey right now. Cause if I feel like if I kill him right now, I'm not gonna get that answer and I want the answer first. No, this isn't my Rita. You've merely given her blood to this thing. It lacks her soul. <laughs> yes, there are the powers of observation I admire. Well done. She's dead, isn't she? Of course, she'd served her purpose. God. Forgive me, Rita. This is like I the motherfuckers talking about Crick all over again. Except for I didn't have nearly as much well, of an attachment to Rita. Even you have a heart. <laughs> What's this? Could this be? What gives this creature life? What is it? It's black as night. I've never seen it like before. <sighs> that is the answer. I found it at last. The seventh source. Hmm. What? So, you don't know, then? That creature was born of the blood of the Lumina family. Rita Lumina. Mm. Her family is known as the Lineage of Light. And, as you well know, bright light gives birth to the darkest shadows. The power... Of the shadow. The shadow. The shadow. The shadow. I spent countless hours and no small amount of effort trying to ascertain its location. Imagine my surprise when it turned out to be your wife. What nonsense is fate? With that knowledge in hand, I took your research and family from you. <laughs> Alright, I now know and understand. What did you do? Time, Time to die, die Harvey. Harvey. <laughs> what do you think I did? Papa? Please don't. Please don't do this. Oh. Papa! Oh, okay. Elena. Is that you? Oh, you're alive. It's me. Come. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you hurt, Papa? Oh, I'm fine, Elena. You had better worry about the man over there, I think. Who is that? There's no fucking way. How 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 old was she? How 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 did he fuck with her brain? Did I not warn you against entering my laboratory, Elena? I'm sorry. You didn't come home. I was worried. I'm going to punch a baby. I what? Oh, I hate it's this right happening. now. Elena's been... Harvey, you... <laughs> oh, you should see the look on your face. Has your mind ground to a halt?
Elena, I'm about to conduct a very important experiment. One that, as it happens, involves you. I will show you later. Yes, Papa. I've taken Elena in to raise as my own. Oh, and I've taken the liberty of altering her mind. Just a bit. Well, that answers that question. What are you saying? Oh, don't worry. It's nothing more than I do in my experiments on the monsters. Harvey, you're the monster. Now, as you saw, Oswald, Rita was a failure. Fortunately, Elena's blood is even better than her mother's. This time, I shall finish it. I shall find the one true magic. No villain laugh there. We just get their shaking shoulders. Wait. I want to. I'm gonna. Harvey, no. H how is he? How is he gonna? How is he stopping me? For, okay. I was gonna say, how is he no! stopping me from? Burn the gates. Freeze them and break them with a metal pipe. J just, just something. Shoot lightning at him. I want to, I want to like Superman style, put my hand through his chest. You don't fuck with the kids, man. Can I watch the experiment with you? Oh, she said Esper. Of course, but isn't this all terribly boring? That's right, she liked doing math for fun. No, of course not, dear. <laughs> Elena. Elena's alive. At last, a modicum of peace from my ragged heart. No doubt because I've lost half the reason to enact my revenge. Yet, at the same time, the fire in my breast burns ever brighter. Uh, yeah, I feel like that would be more incentive. You know, like, <laughs> like now, 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 now it's my not daughter, just you're driven by Maya, an insatiable lust for revenge. From it's, it's, you have to actually save someone. So that my lady, Harvey. my assistant, who was warning me against this, no, you gotta go, you gotta do. She's alive. Where has he taken her? <laughs> the lineage of light. That's what he called it. Dark Hest pursued that line of research, among others. Which means... There's only one place he could be. The Pit of Darkest? Cravel. The resting place of the Archmage himself. Ooh. Harvey. The time for revenge has passed. But I've made up my mind. I know what must be done. I will get Elena back. I swear it. By my hand. And hey, if we can happen to, I don't know, feed Harvey his own testicles, well, that's just bonus. Fuck. Oh, this game. These last few chapters that I've had to do, I, you know what was a great fucking reprieve? Agnes chapter. Just unrelenting optimism. Because cause it's been like fucking Cassie's shit, Temenos, this shit. I don't even want to know what the fuck. Are we going to show up in Hikari's and the, the poor lady's just a skeleton? She's just like, oh, I was never real the entire time. Fades away. Like, the. She lives. Elena, Oswald's precious daughter, lives. What is that? A, is the Scrivener writing that? Why is that written like a news article? 
In an instant, Oswald's priorities are rearranged, and life itself given brand new meaning. A tiny light flickers in the dim purgatory of his, of his existence. Jesus Christ, who's writing poetry over here? <laughs> now, in order to save his daughter, Oswald lights... Oswald lights out for... Lights out for unfamiliar territories one last time. Lights out. Is that a a term for, like, venturing forth? Lights out for unfamiliar territories one last time. I've never heard that before. End. Fuck. A travel mantle. Make it all better, please. Oh, Casty, please make it all better. Thank goodness, Elena lives. That's right. A bright spot. Yes. But that fiend has done something to her mind. Don't worry. Her body won't be affected as far as I can tell. And her memories haven't been, haven't been erased. Not completely. Once she sees that something that reminds her of the truth, her memories will return. Maybe trim that beard and cut your hair. <laughs> Oswald, I promise you this. If you get Elena back, I will heal her. I want to help you. I trust your opinion a great deal. I accept your offer. Fuck, man. I can't take this. <laughs> Ugh. Gee, many Christmas. That's gonna be the end of the episode. Guys, well, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate the fact that you do. And if you're enjoying the content or not, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, all those good things. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.